How strong is Toby Rama? Disclaimer No offense intended. Tobarama was renowned as one of the most powerful shinobi in history, earning praise from even his rivals. He was able to kill Izuna Uchiha, Madara Uchiha's brother and equal in both skills and power. He was able to survive a battle with the Gold and Silver Brothers, a fearsome duo who possessed the Nine Tails Chakra and wielded the four of the treasured tools of the Sage of Six Paths. Chakra and Physical Prowess During his lifetime, Tobi Rama was hailed as the fastest shinobi. He was capable of moving fast enough to both cover a target with explosive tags, as well as mark them for his space-time ninjutsu all unnoticed. In the anime, Tobi Rama is shown moving equally quickly while underwater. He was adept enough in taijutsu to compete against his former student Hiruzen, who is known for his absolute mastery of all shinobi skills. His chakra reserves were large enough to teleport two-tailed beast mode users simultaneously and strong enough to visibly affect the surrounding terrain when releasing it. His chakra control was advanced enough to perform complex techniques with only one hand seal. His will was also strong enough to overcome the nearly perfected control of the impure world reincarnation. Ninjutsu as a senju, Tobarama was skilled in a variety of ninjutsu forms which included shuriken jutsu as well as barrier ninjutsu. He was skilled with a sword, enough to clash with Azuna on multiple occasions, and in the anime, even mastered wielding the sword of the thunder god, a blade with electrical abilities. He also could create multiple shadow clones to aid him in battle and perform actions while he was otherwise preoccupied. Since childhood, Tobarama was an adept sensor, by touching the ground with his finger, he could accurately detect the presence and location of targets in the surrounding area. He could also sense person countries away, identify a target's ancestry from their chakra signature, and even pinpoint a target's exact location while blinded. In the anime, Tobarama was shown to be able to cast Genjutsu to lock a target in perpetual darkness that even Hiruzen Sarutobi could not dispel. He also mentioned that he had the ability to send his soul to help a dying Sasuke, and would have, had he not been immobilized by Madara's black receivers. Nature Transformation Tobarama was able to use all five basic nature transformations, along with yin and yang release. His mastery of water release allowed him to create vast quantities of the substance without a present water source, enabling him to use high-level water release techniques at any given time which was by all accounts no easy feat he could shoot high-pressured streams from his mouth to slice through targets or form needle-shaped projectiles to catch an opponent off-guard while attacking their vital points. He could also create defensive walls or large water dragons to assault his opponent all without a pre-existing water source. In the anime, he could cover an entire battlefield in water and shape it into tendrils to pull targets down with him to drown them. Space-Time Ninjutsu Tobarama's skill with various space-time ninjutsu is well remembered. Using the Flying Thunder God technique, he could instantly teleport himself and or other targets to any location marked with his seal or connected to his chakra. Connecting his chakra with others has also allowed Tobarama to monitor a battlefield using their chakra as a source for his technique. When this chakra is shared among many individuals, he can teleport any number of people away from harm. Should he connect his chakra to other users of the technique, Tobarama can make use of their flying thunder god seals. By using a marked area or throwing a marked kanai, with precise timing, he could move around an area quickly and strike at the most opportune moment before his opponent could react. Summoning Tobarama was especially proficient in summoning techniques. His most infamous technique was the summoning, impure world reincarnation, which returned the souls of the dead into immortal, regenerating bodies. He invented the mutually multiplying explosive tags to take advantage of the revived body's natural advantages, using them in kamikaze-like attacks to create near-infinite chains of explosions on a target and was said to use it whenever he needed to clear a map. Tobarama labeled it a kinjutsu in hopes it wouldn't be used by anyone again. It was implied that he never fully refined this technique as he could only control a small number of reincarnated bodies at once, whose power was limited compared to themselves while alive. Intelligence In battle, Tobarama was calculating, 
striking only when he's confident of success and without any thought of mercy. Very innovative, he having designed a variety of original and equally advanced techniques, including the impure world reincarnation, flying thunder god technique, and shadow clone technique. Tobarama was known for launching surprise attacks on opponents who think they've won and have let their guard down. In order to capitalize on every possible advantage, he pays careful attention to every aspect of a battle, analyzing opponents' strategies and techniques to discern their purpose, mechanics, and ultimately, their weaknesses. He was similarly knowledgeable of skills he has no training in, being able to recognize a toad from Mount Myoboku and their senjutsu or different types of advanced nature transformations.